Ugh, honestly, why does Will bother making me come into work if I have no assignments and no paperwork to fill out? Such a waste, honestly. Oh, whatever am I to do for the rest of the day? Hmm. Perhaps I could visit Bassie. Oh, no, that's right. He and that brat are on holiday for the time being. Ugh, whatever am I to do until then? Hmm. Bassie might be gone. But that doesn't mean I can't pretend he's here. I think I still have that doll I made of him somewhere. I do hope I didn't leave it at home. Oh, it appears I didn't. I believe I locked my office door. Oh, Bassie, perhaps you and I can pretend that we're on a date somewhere. <laughs> Oh, I can imagine that I have the day off, and you and I are spending it together, just as it should be. What's that? Oh, you want me to kiss you? Oh, certainly, Bassie. How could I possibly say no to you? <laughs> Oh, a girl can dream. Oh, someday, though, I'll get you, Bassie, darling. Oh, and then we'll spend our days together, just as I always imagine. Oh, we could have tea somewhere. And watch the sun set. And then come nightfall. We can lie beside each other. And gaze up into the night sky at the stars. Oh, how wonderful that will be. Oh, Bassie, why must you play hard to get? So... Frustrating, honestly. Although, I won't deny that I do love the chase. And it will make it all the more satisfying when I finally have you for myself. <coughs> oh, Bassie, you're so... Um, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, so Will does have an assignment for me today. Oh, how unexpected. How long have you been standing there? Okay. Uh, well, um, I can assure you that, um, what you saw was not what you're thinking it was, darling. Uh, you see, I was just... Uh, well, you know, uh, when girls, uh, are interested in someone, sometimes they have to, uh, fantasize about 
being with them, and I am no exception, darling. I wasn't doing anything too inappropriate. I was just, well, as I'm sure you heard, imagining that I was elsewhere on a date with my beloved Bassie. Um, but that was only because I thought Will had brought me into work because he just wanted to waste my time. I wasn't aware that I was going to have an assignment, and I finished all of my paperwork last night, so I was rather bored, you see, and, well, my mind tends to wander when I get bored, and usually it wanders to Bassy, and since he's off on holiday and I can't stalk him, this is what I resort to. Darling, please promise you aren't going to say anything about this to anyone else. What? What's in it for you? Are you trying to blackmail me, darling? Ugh. Well, it's working. Um, what do you want in exchange for your silence? What? You want me to just stop doing this? It wasn't bothering you until you came in without knocking. Oh, you did knock. Oh, I suppose I was distracted and didn't hear you. Um, how about I just lock my office door properly next time? Oh, but I can't just quit. This is the only thing that gets me through the day, darling. Huh? Speak up, darling. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> what do you mean I can do better? No one could possibly be better than Bassie. <laughs> you think he mistreats me? What, just because I help him and treat him nicely, but he doesn't seem to care, and whenever he sees me, he usually ends up hurting me somehow. Oh, now that I say that out loud, I guess that I really have been misleading myself. I thought he was just playing hard to get, but I think he might just be using my feelings for him to get information and assistance when necessary. All right, darling. You have my word. I won't do this anymore. I won't even be tempted to do this anymore. I guess I'll just have to find some other way of amusing myself then when I'm called into work for no reason. What? <laughs> Darling, <laughs> that's a very kind offer, but most of the time, you're on assignment from Will. What? What on earth are you talking about? All of those times that I wanted to talk with you... You weren't on assignment? 
Why were you lying to me? Oh, yes, that does make sense. You didn't want to hear me rambling on about Bercy. Uh, I should probably stop calling him that now. Sebastian. I'm sorry that it bothered you. Um. In that case, uh, once I get back from my assignment with Will, sure. I wouldn't mind hanging out with you. Oh, yes, I will have paperwork to fill out, but really, it's not all that difficult to talk with someone and fill that out. I mostly just avoid filling it out so that I can get over time and spend more time with William. But I think spending time with you would be better. Now that I think about it, Sebastian and William are quite similar in that they certainly don't return my feelings, and they do mistreat me quite often. I mean, with Will, he does punish me because he's my superior, but uh, sometimes he hits me with his scythe, which I think is unnecessary. I'm a terrible employee, not a disobedient schoolgirl, honestly. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, alright, I would love to spend some time with you whenever I have a chance. Although I will warn you, darling, if this blossoms into a friendship, I can't promise not to be extremely clingy. You don't mind that, do you, though? <laughs> I thought not. Well, I'd best be off. The sooner I finish my assignment, the sooner I can come back and talk to you. We can finally get to know each other after working together for so long. Oh, this is absolutely marvellous, so exciting! Well, I'll be back soon, darling. Do wait up for me. I won't be long. I promise. Deadly efficiency, that's my motto. And it's what I live by whenever I have an assignment. I'll be back soon, darling. Ta-ta.